Hey guys, I'm Julia from This Model Eats A Lot and I recently went to have dinner at The Greenhouse in London. Greenhouse is two Michelin star. I'd heard a lot of mixed reviews about it. I was very, very curious to see, is this genuinely a good restaurant? Is it flavorful? Is it deserving of the two Michelin stars? For me, it's all about the warmth, how welcome you make the diner feel. It's about sharing the enthusiasm for beautiful food, and it's about really infusing that joy into the cooking. That was what I was very curious to see, and I found my answer. So we did the chef's tasting course, which consisted of nine separate courses with a series of amuse-bouches at the start. My favourite was the yellowfin tuna with the black truffle dashi. I did actually email the restaurant afterwards to seek clarification on the amuse bouches that were served. Unfortunately, I didn't get a response. The Seabream ceviche was very fresh, very uplifting. It looked absolutely beautiful. The oyster tempura was new on the menu. And to my understanding, there were a lot of new items that had just been added the day before. The clam chowder for me was a little bit dull, despite the addition of the ingredients. I felt that many of the dishes really needed a little bit of salt. I know it's French cuisine, but I do feel that there's an intricate balance between delicate and refined and unseasoned. It was a relief to see salt on the side. The phone was actually very comforting. It married really well with the traditional flavors of the egg and the black truffle. The gravy underneath was the star of the show. It was actually truffle with Madeira port. I'm happy with this dish. So the Buller Bays definitely had unique presentation. It looked absolutely gorgeous. However, the small dribble on the bottom was the soup. Uh, <laughs> to have this so deconstructed, almost like it was trying to reinvent the wheel, I really felt like this was not successful in doing that. The Hunter Chicken was pleasant to eat. It was hearty enough without being too robust, and it definitely retained an effervescence. They had crunchy potato palms, which uh, reminded me a lot of Indian Pani Puris. And they themselves were airy and delightful. And the inventive use of salad cubes made my dinner partner eat his greens for the first time in a really long time. We were asked what we thought of the tasting course. I did briefly give my two cents, but I felt that it wasn't received. There was no uh, contriteness. What I found in dining in two and three Michelin star establishments is they normally have a small typed uh, takeaway menu for you to, to keep as a small memento. Some restaurants, they even have it um, on the table for you to just keep track of each dish as it comes out. Unfortunately, the greenhouse did not have anything of the sort. And I asked for a summary of everything that had been consumed. I was actually given uh, a handwritten menu with some dishes that were actually not consumed by us. I know it might seem like a small thing to people, but in every Michelin star restaurant that I have gone to, presentation has been the utmost focus. I feel like this is such a depressing review. I'm so sorry, guys. So all in all, was it worth the hype? I'm going to say no. As mentioned previously, there were a number of contributing factors. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like the series, don't forget to subscribe. I'm so happy to be doing season five with you. Don't forget to check out all the other episodes. Have a great day and don't forget to eat a lot.